Right, hi guys. I'm making this video just to see if um, I could get the same result as Tesla Colt because he was showing an LED which appeared to be blinking when he touched his barium titanate. I've got the same stuff here and I just cannot get it to work. So I don't know um, what's going on. I don't know if it's just a, a trick or if it's if it's just I'm not doing it right. Um, so I did try to get some action by just charging it up. I've got one here with the metal shaved off and one with it still on. Uh, I think it's silver, I'm not certain, but it has some kind of metal on the on the surface. I've had, I have had a lot of fun with them. They haven't been boring because I enjoyed making Lichtenberg figures with them, so I don't regret buying them. They're very cheap on eBay. And it's true that a lot of people who are perhaps interesting to folks on here um, like Townsend Brown he did speak a lot about this stuff and so it's interesting at least for that reason so I could charge it up very quickly with uh, a few thousand volts okay now I got excited first of all because watch what happened I'll put my uh, shadow over it so you can see with the uh, LED here now I hope you can see the LED is on now I got really excited first, I thought the barium titanate's um, powering it, but then I simply took the wires away from my big um, voltage, high voltage supply, it's got lots of capacitors in there and um, it's still connected anyway to this big transformer. Um, and when I tried now, nothing. Nothing at all coming from the barium titanate. I can split the wires across, it doesn't matter how I hold it there. I've tried in every sort of position. Now maybe I'm going to take, take it back and say that it's started working in the future, but at the moment I cannot get this stuff to work, even with trying to <laughs> put a few thousand volts across it and see if it stores something. But I can't see anything there. So I'm afraid I'm getting a negative result. But still, it did lead me to realise that um, I can get LEDs to life, at least for a long time afterwards, uh, just from, from my high voltage supply. And it only needs one leg. There's only one leg touching it. The other leg's in my hand, acting as a ground. And look, I get a lovely light from it. I think it gets significantly less if I take the transformer out of the mains. Try it now, but yeah, I just liked it. Still, I still enjoyed my experiments just for getting it to work in that sense. But as you can see, yeah, it's harder for me now to to get it to work. It just doesn't work now. Oh, there was a little bit there. Can you just see a very, very tiny, tiny bit, perhaps? But nowhere near as good as it was when it was plugged into the mains. Um, so I think something is still um, some stray energy or, you know, it's energy from the capacitors. I think it's still ringing around in there, a bit like the dual ringer. It kind of rings back and forth um, in the mains, but I really don't know. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope I'm wrong and uh, and that uh, there is some way that you can just stick the LED on there and, and get some flashes. But I, I haven't seen it yet. And if anybody wants to give me some advice what I'm doing wrong, um, please tell me because you know I want to be wrong. I, I want I want my barium to act as an LED battery too. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for watching.